All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have an exciting game for you guys here. The two best decks in the format, Karapika's Mirror Match. They're gonna go at it here at our locals. Very exciting matchup, guys. The nice thing about Karapika is the games are never dull. You're hitting specials and triggers. Your Karapikas are sniping everything on the board. You have so much impact. You can ha you have potential to really steal games and do up to three damage at the end of the game in one turn even though the opponent has uh cards maybe you have three impactors on board with gone so there's so much you could do in this uh, matchup let's see how we do and let's see if going first actually helps Korapik a little bit as you can see the right side is going to be going first and uh, let's see what we're going to choose to do zeppa's really strong decision here looking at the top and ditching whatever you don't need we're gonna throw out a zero cost Karapika and looks like our opponent is going to do the Leorio combo really good we're gonna go ahead and match that and play another Zepile so as you can see already going first you're able to kind of I think your opponent is going to be able to play one more card over you because you went first and he gets to draw over you as well. I guess the only silver linings you get to get to your 3 AP first, which is going to be a huge turn. Looks like this Karapik on the right side is drawing his second Emperor. So we have a lot of specials in the hand. So we're going to go ahead and move the Zeppile forwards and start pushing because we have the 3 uh, energy into the 5 energy that we need to activate the Neon. So right now, honestly, uh, right side is looking amazing. They have all the Karapikas they need. They have the 5 energy to activate Neon, and if they hit Neon next turn, uh, like a Karapika with the Neon, that would be insane. So it looks like left side is going to go ahead and look for Photo of Gong, look for any Karapikas. I don't know if that card is actually that good, but our left side is actually testing it. He really likes it. Every time he uses it, he gets a Karapika that is necessary for him. As you can see, he dropped that Karapika down immediately and activated the second Karapika. And so, unfortunately, he's not going to go for a full snipe because there's no snipe potential. There's nothing to remove on the board. Zeppile is just too low. There we are. We activate the Neon here. If we can get... We actually, I think, drew the 7 cost Karapika. So, Neon could have... Yeah, as you can see, 7 cost is right there. So, if we didn't draw it, if it was one card before it, we could have played the Karapika for free here but unfortunately we're gonna only be able to get the gone out and we won't be able to use any of his abilities then we should be able to snipe and get three damage out that's a huge turn here for the Karapika on the right side uh oh man this is huge no triggers at all and let's see how the left side is going to be able to come back from this huge turn there for the right side i guess we could go ahead and pull a neon on the left side right now and see what the neon can help us with and we got nothing unfortunate there looks like we're gonna have to utilize the gone to its f yeah we're gonna have to play down the gone there's nothing else to play oh he actually chooses the zeppile which is interesting zeppile likes him look at the top unfortunately uh, we don't have a gone to raid that other gone with so we're not going to be able to play the raided gone so he has two rated gone in his hand right now. So he's going to have to drop one. And let's see what the potential is. Really, we don't have anything else here to do except to go into the Karapika or we're going to be falling way far behind. Unfortunately, he does take our 5k Karapika out. So he has a strong blocker on board now. And if he hits any triggers, it will put us really behind. But we, the right side should be really far ahead right now. It looks like they are actually. So they do draw into the five cost Karapika. Let's see if they're going to bring it down. First they draw an extra draw. Then they bring the Karapika down five cost. Unfortunately, it looks like they're not going to be playing anything this turn. Uh, that's uh, going to get them anywhere unless he raids the Karapika. Oh, there it is. There's a raid Karapika on the back end. There's a hunter license to raid the Karapika and then we're probably gonna play something on the bottom yep perfect perfect I think that's perfect oh my god so that's what really saved his life because right there we would have won the game the right side was about to win and then all of a sudden he pulls out his Karapika from the triggers 
Is this gonna help him come back? Let's see how strong this uh, Karapika is going to be. I mean, if he gets another Karapika on the board, that's gonna be so huge. We're not gonna be able to deal with this. And then a third Karapika oh, or Sniper at two. Wow, look how, how the tables are turning very quickly with just one Karapika. Wow, he just got all the damage he needed very quickly. Damn, that was an amazing trigger there. Let's see if we can come back. Wow, what an amazing trigger got him so far ahead. Let's see if we can actually get rid of one of these Karapikas and push for impact and games. Unfortunate there. We didn't hit any triggers as well on the right side when we got attacked for three hits. So that's really unfortunate. Let's see here. We have a gone. We can go if we can go into a three cost gone that might actually help us. Nope. Instead, we activate double emperor. That should win us game. No, it doesn't win us game because we don't have the energy necessary. But we do clear out all that big stuff. We have one card left in hand. If a Karapika lands with another gone i think that's going to be game over unfortunately this four karapika is what we've seen this game into a gone and we cannot come back from that i don't think you can come back from that unfortunately no triggers at all no triggers at all yikes oh my god oh my god we just drew another zero unfortunate there that's amazing how right side was actually so far ahead. And then one Karapika from the trigger changed the whole game plan. Actually, that was a turn where right side was about to win the game. But then Karapika actually pulled out of the trigger zone and saved his life. Because what would have happened was if Karapika never came out, we, the opponent would have been down to one life. And with all our impact, we would have been able to steal that life away. That's such an unfortunate mishap there. Such a strong trigger. There we are. We're going to activate the Neon. Let's see if we can gain any value from Neon. Uh, no value at all, really. Do get the active uh, Karapika. Don't see a way we can end the game here. Not with one Dawn. Not with one active uh, AP. And nothing in hand, on it, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and start with attacking. 4k is going to block and impact is going to hit unfortunate guys that looks like this Karapika is going to be able to steal the game two impacts on the board we can't shut it down can't slow it down we can pull off his neons forwards and there's nothing we can do unless we hit really strong triggers he needs to pull off his guys forwards but even then, Neon really doesn't help him. Or Leorio is just another attacker. Let's see what he can do. He actually really did run out of steam on the left side, though. No cards in hand. Nothing to do. So if we can survive this turn, we might actually be able to steal the game. Unfortunate, though, guys. He moves everything forward. Plays down the impactor. Hits. Can't stop it. And then another hit. I can't stop the impact. And that's so unfortunate, guys. Interested in your opinions. What do you think about this game? Do you think that right side misplayed in any way? And can you believe how strong that Karapika trigger is? Leave a comment down below. I'm interested in your decisions and opinions.